the ABCs of churn in SaaS and why it matters. When you step into the vast and growing world of software as a service, SaaS, you'll hear a lot of jargon tossed around, but one word stands out, churn. Whether you're a seasoned business veteran or a starry-eyed newcomer stepping into the entrepreneurial landscape, understanding churn is absolutely critical to the health of your business. What is churn? In simplest terms, churn, sometimes referred to as customer attrition, is the percentage of your customers or subscribers who stop using your product over a given period. Imagine your SaaS product as a bucket of water. The water you pour in represents new customers. But alas, the bucket has holes, customers leaving your platform. The process of water draining out represents churn. Now, the main idea isn't to eradicate churn completely, after all, some attrition is natural and inevitable in every business. What's crucial is keeping it under control and below the industry average, so you're not merely filling up the bucket but actually growing the volume of water inside. Why does churn matter? Every customer that churns is not just a lost user but also a lost revenue stream. It's also often more costly to acquire a new customer than to retain an existing one. High churn rates can signify deeper issues with your product, customer support, or overall customer experience. Ignoring churn is akin to ignoring a ticking time bomb. Most importantly, churn impacts your company's growth ceiling. No matter how many new customers you bring in, if your churn rate is high, your growth will stagnate. In worst case scenarios, high churn rates can lead to negative growth, where you're losing customers faster than you're gaining them, a death knell for any SaaS business. Tracking and understanding churn. Understanding and tracking churn involves more than just calculating a percentage. You need to dig deeper to find the root causes. Ask yourself, why are customers leaving? What stages are they at when they churn? Are there common characteristics among customers who churn? There are several ways to track churn. We'll cover each of these specifically in follow-up posts, but they break down too. 1. Customer churn. This is the basic churn calculation, measuring the number of customers lost over a specific period. 2. Revenue churn. This measures the revenue loss due to churn, considering factors like varying subscription costs for different tiers of your product. 3. Cohort analysis. This involves tracking a group of customers who started using your product at the same time. You can examine if changes in your product or strategy have influenced the churn rate over time. You can also differentiate between voluntary churn, customers consciously deciding to leave your product, and involuntary churn, customers leaving due to factors like expired credit cards or other payment issues. Now that you have the basics, let's talk strategy. Here are a few steps to manage and reduce churn. 1. Listen to your customers, regularly survey your users and ask for feedback. Why are they leaving? What features are they missing? Which parts of the product are hard to use? Use this feedback to make improvements. 2. Implement a customer success program. This involves proactive engagement with your customers to ensure they're deriving value from your product. This could include training, webinars, Q&A sessions, and regular check-ins. 3. Utilize predictive analytics. Use AI and machine learning algorithms to predict which customers are most likely to churn and proactively address their issues. 4. Improve your onboarding process. A lot of churn happens because customers don't understand how to use your product effectively. A good onboarding process will make the product easier to understand and more sticky. 5. Manage expectations. Don't overpromise and underdeliver. Make sure your marketing and sales communications align with what your product can deliver. In essence, managing churn is about delivering value to your customers, understanding their needs, and constantly improving your product and services to meet those needs. As a SaaS entrepreneur, churn might seem like an intimidating hurdle. But if viewed through the right lens, it's a powerful indicator of your product market fit and a guiding light steering your product development. So, embrace the churn, understand it, learn from it, and let it propel your SaaS venture to new heights. In the immortal words of Reid Hoffman, co-founder of LinkedIn, starting a company is like throwing yourself off the cliff and assembling an airplane on the way down. Churn is just one of the parts you need to assemble that airplane. Stay innovative, stay informed, and keep building.